Hi there, folks. It's Jonathan Denwood here from WP Tonic. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about how associations can increase retention of their membership. It's really important. I've been getting a lot of feedback from my association clients. That is one of the main things on their minds entering 2024. I think I've got some great tips and insights. I'll be back in a few moments, folks. back folks so you've got association you're part of association team and you're facing the problem of retention um, in the startup world it's called churn and I think some of the practices and insights from startup world can really give you some great insights about the best practices about increasing retention when it comes to membership um, when it comes to membership. I think it's always great to look at another industry or another sector and see what the best practices are and then try and apply them to your own sector. Now, I think one of the biggest buzzwords um, around the startup community um, and it also applies to on online as well is building community building an online community for your association and through that community you will find that the value of your membership increases to your target membership members basically easy to say harder to do and i think it's one of the key factors that a lot of associations really fail is kind of building this community, uh, building a forum, building people talking through your website, um, communicating, uh, having your own kind of form of LinkedIn. Now, there, there's some great solutions out there that encourage encourages these type of conversations and it's something that I would highly recommend any association really look at. Another factor is your onboarding experience. You know, when a new member signs up through your website, what is the onboarding experience like? In based on my experience, it's pretty poor when it comes to a lot of associations. Um, thirdly, what is you, how often do you touch your membership through the website, through your email communication? Um, do, you, do you offer any value through your monthly newsletter? You know, what kind of feedback do you do? You regularly do surveys to try and gather what your members are really looking for. Mentorship and are utilizing. Um, online conference calls that can be booked to build community and offer mentorship and value. There's a host of different things you can do to increase your members feeling towards their membership and unfortunately a lot of associations um, aren't really thinking outside the book as I would say um, they they have you need to be more proactive in what you're offering through your website to build this community feeling. I've written quite extensive uh, article about this. You find the link in the video description underneath, um, where I go into a lot more detail. Plus, you can book a uh, chat with me and I can give you some more information about all the different things we have found that really works in promoting your association website and reducing churn, basically. Hopefully you found this useful. Got any questions, leave them underneath the video or like I say, you can book a free chat with me. I'll see you soon, folks. Bye.